Alright, what up everyone? Zodobar here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to review the 100 Thieves uh, roster for the 2018 NA LCS. If you guys haven't seen, I already did a video about TSM and CLG. So go uh, look at them after uh, this video if you guys want to know more. So I'm going to go through all the players, about their history, about what they play. And I'm going to try to analyze a little bit what I think this team could be or how far they could go uh, for next season. Uh, understand that even the owner, uh, Nate Shot, doesn't think that he will do well for the first season because of all the infrastructure that needs to come and the synergy that needs to be built. So, I don't know. Uh, I definitely have some surprises for this team um, with the addition of two great players that I think you guys are going to love. Uh, Aframu was announced maybe like two weeks ago or something, so we already knew about him. And we'll go over the end of the video. But yeah, let's just jump right into it, guys. Uh, let's do this. So this is the Twitter, by the way, if you guys want to go follow them, at 100 Thieves. Very interesting uh, organization that I will be following a lot. Uh, they're invested uh, by the Cleveland Cavaliers. So that's that's really interesting. Just a side uh, fun fact. So the first is the top laner, uh, Sunday. So Sunday, top laner from Team Dignitas that was imported to the uh, to NA from uh, KT roster, K KT roster, roster. Uh, very talented top laner, very young. Uh, this guy is insane. He plays a lot of champion. Uh, nothing really to say. He didn't perform super well in NA. Uh, as you can see, guys, Team Dignitas didn't really do well. But individually, he's a very, like, he's a very talented top laner, obviously, with a very interesting pull of champion. Uh, nothing crazy. I know his parkour with, in Korea was so much better than what he did in NA. But I still think it's a good investment for Honda Thieves to get this player and sign him, uh, at least for this first season. I think it's a cool addition to the team. And... It, top laners are not really the big thing we want to talk about here for analysis because the meta that we're moving towards isn't very like top laner uh, oriented. But yeah, so we're going to see about the other picks and we'll see. The next one is Meteos or Meteos or whatever you call it. He will be joining 100 Thieves as the jungler, uh, famous for playing for Cloud9 at his start. He joined Phoenix One about two seasons ago, uh, and right now he joins 100 Thieves as the jungler. So, Meteos, I'm not a fan to be honest. Um, I was a fan at the very start of his career when he completely changed the the way people saw junglers. Uh, he was the first jungler to like play Nocturne and only farming in the jungle, having as much farm as the ADC and wrecking people after level 6. Um, that was just insane. That was just a new thing. It was fresh. It was spicy. I just love seeing that from him. But throughout his career, he didn't get really much better. Um, he's still a meta player. Uh, and I feel like Teams this season will need very, very strong uh, playmaker jungles that will be able to not only be very good mechanically, but just like know everything about the game, uh, set up expectations, being very good in warding. And like, I think that jungle is going to be one of the most important, if not the most important role this season. Um, more than it used to before, at least, because a jungle is always going to be an important role. So moving on to Meadows, I wish him the best though. I think he's good. I think he's talented. Uh, he did. I think he won a one title or two, right? In NA with uh, with Clan Nine. So I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I wish him the best, but I don't think uh, he is the playmaker or the core jungler that a hundred thieves needs to be. Uh, in a perspective, I'm talking where like, oh, they want to be the best. I, I, I always go like this. Like, if you don't want to be the best, maybe this is not the right guy. But if they want to be like top three, top four, yeah, Meadows can do this for sure. So the next one will be Rui, who is who used to play with Meadows, uh, which I think is really smart from um, from what's his name, the coach of 100 Thieves, uh, Proly, Proly, yeah, yeah, coming from Europe. So Rui uh, came from Phoenix One as well. So there's a synergy always. There's there's an important synergy with Meadows and uh, Ryu, Ryu. And we're going to see how it goes, to be honest. I think they didn't do a lot of good job for Phoenix 1, I want to say. Like, they were not, like, the best team out there. Uh, but it's still that. Like, there's not something that they, they will need to work on. Uh, like, a team that has to build synergy. Is, the hard, synergy is the hardest thing ever, I think. This is something that you can only work by playing tons of hours together. Just learning about each other and gameplay and watching replays and doing all that stuff. 
Importing a jungle and a mid laner, which are two roles that really play together in game, especially for the early mid game and the transition uh, for dragons and all all that, and even vision control all around the map. Uh, this is this is an interesting investment to get Ryu and Meadows as a package. I don't know if that was a package, but at least they got both of them from the same team, which I think is is really cool. So Cody Sun guys is gonna be the ADC from. Um, uh, 100 Thieves, he used to be at Immortals, uh, then he went to Team Liquid, and I don't know what to really say about him, he is really lucky to get, um, so he's Chinese, I didn't know he was Chinese, I thought he was a NA, a native, but okay, he's Chinese, a oh, residency, North America, okay, okay, so he's, uh, he's North American, and he, um, Oh my god, I lost my train of thought. So yeah, so he's very lucky to have Aphromoo. I feel like Aphromoo will be able to... Aphromoo will be the key for him to step up. I think that in Team Liquid, he did quite a decent job uh, against certain matchup. He was not a playmaker. He's not a risk taker, I want to say, in his gameplay. But I think Aphromoo would allow him, maybe enable something for him to step up. So I think it's really good for him. It's a good investment to get both Aphromoo here that we're going to talk a little bit after. And Cody Sun, I think it's it's very interesting because Cody Sun, you can see, you can feel the talent, you can see he's a hard worker, uh, and he did so many teams already. Look at this team, uh, Dream Team, Team Frostbite. Imagine he's been playing competitively since 2015, which which is a lot. Like there there is definitely something. He didn't play a lot in terms of like achievement, uh, but yeah, I think Afromu could literally like teach him a lot. Double Lift always said how Afromu helped him. Uh, because Afrimu used to be a professional ADC player back then, so the bot lane is really his thing. Like he knows everything about the bot lane, and I think Cody Sun and Afrimu, after playing a lot with each other, will be able to like step up and be one of the best bot lane of America. At least I hope so. And Afrimu, guys, everybody knows him. He's been announced a couple weeks ago. Uh, the ex CLG player. By the way, yo, you have to change your uh, offline banner, man. 100T uh, Afro with the stream online, uh, go check out CLG with the CLG branding. You have to change this, bro. So, yeah, I mean, the guy spent like three years, like four years, actually. Four years for CLG, and he's uh, finally leaving for 100 Thieves. I'm, I cannot wait to see Afromu. Honestly, ever since I started to shoutcast, Afromu has been like a guy I've, I've been following a lot. Uh, really good pro progression. This guy can play anything, to be honest. It's pretty insane. So, yeah. Uh, now that we went over all the players, guys, let's just go over like the team uh, by itself. So, this team, guys, is gonna go. Um, I want to say like because CLG. Okay, so CLG and TSM look really impressive. We're still missing a lot of roster to just say okay what this team can be. I think this team will be on the top half, not on the bottom half. I think this is a team that can that has a lot of potential, just because. Aphromu can add so much to Cody Co Sun gameplay and like just panel of skills. R uh, Ryu and Meteos can work together and just build upon the synergy they already have. And Sunday is just an overall talented individual that will be able to dominate the top lane and hopefully capitalize on an advantage to to do things. You have to know that Meteos, despite his not his ability to not like shine and carry a game solo. Uh, I remember him having this gameplay of like a risk taker or something that do crazy plays and I think this is kind of what the it's like it's kind of like the secret sauce of professional gaming in League of Legends and I think like this is what really makes you best is like your your ability to take like calculated risk and just like willing to go a step forward. I think I appreciate that for him as at least as a jungler. He didn't show his best performance with Phoenix One, but I, I know I know that when the meta is defined around jungle, which is going to happen, I mean, we've been seeing the patches and stuff, Meadows could really become one of the best jungle out there. So, watch out for him. He might he might just shine in the next uh, patches. And, I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, Ryu is really good. Obviously, like, very talented Korean player. Uh, there's a lot of talent. Then, it's going to be only take... I know this is very broad and generic to say, but it's only going to take hard work to, for them to, like, build synergies, start to build a uh, composition... Uh, learn the new patch, learn the new meta, all that. So, there's, that's a team that can potentially get tough four, tough three, maybe if they get a good run. Uh, I don't, I don't think this is going to be a bottom tier team at all. Uh, they look really, really good, uh, and they seem to have a really good organization around them as well, which is super important for the performance of, of a professional gamer. 
So that's it, guys. Uh, if you guys have any feedbacks, if you guys uh, have any thoughts about this team, please let me know. Do you guys think this team would be TSM? This, do you think this team could go to Words maybe and perform? Uh, there's definitely a lot of things to talk about. This is me like just saying like some broad stuff about the team. I just cannot wait to see them uh, play professionally on the new patch and the new meta. That is really like jungle centric. I feel like. Um, so yeah, we'll see, you guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this lineup. And I'll see you guys for a new video for another lineup. Hopefully soon. Cheers.